All right, Gablino. Oh, you have no weapons to go. Oh, you're still very aggressive, though. What's your problem, dude? You don't even have a weapon. Get a weapon before you want to fight. You coward. Nani? All right, we are here today taking a look at an open world survival crafting multiplayer game, mind you, in Tinker Town. A game with a lot of inspiration from a Terraria, as the developer themselves will let you know. To me personally, when I saw this, I did see the Terraria thing, but what kind of drew my attention to it, or at least what kind of alerted me more of anything else, was Forager. And maybe it's because it has a very similar concept of Forager. It's got that very quick crafting mechanic, where in Forager, you know, you chop something down, it's instantly your inventory, you quickly make something out of it, it's very boom, boom, quick, and you're good to go. All right, so let's see about creating my character here. We all know it's gonna be Falcon 69, cause he cannot go any other way. Now, in terms of our hair, we got blue, we got dark brown, really dark brown, blonde hair, purplish, greenish, whatever. Okay, how about, let me give this guy a silver, oh, okay. Well, I was gonna just go silver haired fox, but the moment I turn blue, it's like a smurf. I'm gonna be Falcon 69 the smurf. All right, well, let's get to it. As I've mentioned, you start off small here, and you gotta think big over time, though. So if I start bringing, okay, I got myself a piece of wood. I will attack things with this piece of wood, just as I can. Got a barrel here, I will smash this barrel down, and apparently I collected an entire barrel. So I was hoping you could break this puppy down for a couple of extra wood items so we could craft something. There's apparently a camp over there. Something tells me it's probably not the most welcoming guest if I showed up over there, but... I'm a curious lad by nature. I kind of want to go over there and check that out, so as a matter of fact... If I could just make myself like a proper stick weapon... <laughs> I wouldn't mind going over there and just like, you know... Whacking a couple of dudes if they try to get crazy with me. Whacking a couple of dudes if they try to get crazy with me. Well, that's alright. I guess I'll go ahead and take advantage of it and be an unwelcome guest by just destroying their habitat. This apparently has food on it too, so if I break this down, I hope I better get some meat off of this here. Oh, I did. And I even got the campfire, so it's got a, it's got that mechanic where if you find something, you could definitely smash it down and then bring it back and, like, you know, claim it as your own in your own base. So instead of now building my own campfire, I just basically stole one. Just to show them they're not completely greedy, I will leave them at least two totem poles in one barrel. You know? I think, like, you know, it's fine to take things in life if they don't belong to you, but you gotta do it in moderation is what I'm saying, you know? Like, you can't necessarily take everything. Like, if you're gonna steal, at least, you know, have the current common decency to leave something behind, you know? Don't don't be a complete scumbag about it. Luckily, this piece of wood that we have here <laughs> is the best tool of all time. Why do I need to make a pickaxe or a stone axe or anything at this point? We can make the stone axe now. Let's start off with the first one, why not? I need- I really need to get rid of, uh... <laughs> this piece of wood here. Oh, you- oh, okay. Break down a boulder with a piece of wood? But use a stone axe and the game's just like, <laughs> what are you doing, Doug? Oh, oh goblin. Hey, hey, buddy. You wouldn't be happy to be uh, one of the dudes that lived in that little village over there, huh? Because when you get back, you're in for a surprise look and say, oh, red slime. Why is there a workbench here? Oh, ho, 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 your boy's about to come up on the workbench. You see, I don't have to build anything in this game. I just steal it. All right, well, red slime. Why does it have to be this way, Red Slime? Am I even causing- I don't think I'm causing any damage whatsoever to this Red Slime. You know what, have I lured that slime away? Yes, okay, okay. Look while he's there. We- we sneak in, and we make something out of his workbench. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> if you go, the goblin's getting close. Alright, I, I made the sword at least. Now, comes swift revenge. Um, to some degree. There it is. Now we're actually doing damage. Very good. This guy kicked my ass for quite a while, though. Uh, we picked up berries, right, and we have that piece of meat. That's probably how we heal. Alright, so this is Goblin wandering around over here. I guess it should be up to us to, you know, go over there and introduce ourselves to him. Okay, uh, let's do that. But before we do that, let's see about... Can they pop some of these berries for heals? Yeah, they do like five each, sure. Go ahead and top me off, Captain. Alright, Goblino. Oh, you have no weapons to- Ah, oh, you're still very aggressive, though. What's your problem, dude? You don't even have a weapon. Get a weapon before you want to fight. You coward. Nani? Ooh. What do we got in there? Okay, you know what? We have to go in there. Something tells me at my level, or at least at my current loadout, we should not be going there, but, you know, I don't follow the rules. I make my own. Is this gonna be coal, by the way? Did we ever make that pickaxe? No, we did not. Why not? Because apparently we're missing wood. That's fine. You know what? I have a stone axe for a reason. 
I tried using it as a weapon and it didn't really go too well. So let's just go ahead and cut down some trees here. Let's try out if pickaxe lets me... Oh, I see. I can't, I can't bring this one down yet. So we probably need a stronger pickaxe for this bad boy. What do you think blue means? Like iron ore of some kind? Probably iron ore. Oh, there's another goblin here. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Are you... Oh, you got a... You have a bow. Okay. Okay. This, um... I was not ready for a man with a bow. I'm gonna just swiftly dodge around him. Look at this. This is a sign of a man who's been playing video games his entire life. What is up with these stones with the red? What does the red indicate? Let's find out. Curious about this? Oh, it's copper ore. Huh. Red for copper ore, I guess, you know. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a weapon. Let's see if I can get some armor crafted so I'm no longer buck naked the entire time. Is that possible? Wooden walls, wooden floors, a wooden shield would be nice. Would I need leather? Don't have leather. Then we might have to make something to make leather first, though, huh? What else do we got here? The wooden fences, the wooden helmet. So all the equipment does require leather, it does seem. Okay, so you know what? Something tells me you need to remove yourself from my building screen. What do I need for leather? Some sort of tanning outfitter. That makes sense to me. Yes. Crafted. Set it down somewhere. I guess I'm making this workbench mine. At least for now, this is where I'm going to be making my home. I will eradicate those goblins and this cave that I want to investigate at some point will be mine. We'll definitely go under pretty soon. So leather requires bad wings and strings. Oh. Well, we got bad wings from um, taking down their little tanning thing that we saw. I can make a skull helmet now. Hey, go for it. Why not? Yo, your boy's got a skull helmet. Clothing. String. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do I need um, clothing for? Wooden bed. So this will be my spawn point if I die. Yeah, yeah. So you know what? Um, if we're gonna go into that cave, we should have a spawn point. So I need. Uh, I need to get custom with this uh, keyboard layout here. Let's make two of these, and then we'll also make at least one leather for now. I don't think one leather is enough to make any equipment, but um, or maybe it is. Oh, it's the wooden boots. At least we'll have something to our feet. Sure. Do that, and then make the wooden bed. All right, boys, now we're moving. You see what I meant about the entire thing? Like, sure, at first I was kind of exploring a little bit, but everything goes into your inventory and you instantly start crafting, which is very similar to in Forager. In Forager, everything's just really, really fast-paced. Of course, in Forager, you have, like, machines that automate stuff for you as you're running around doing your thing as well. But, um, I still dig it. It's just very, very quick. <laughs> All right, look at this. I no longer look at a Smurf, but hey, if I was a gambling man, I would say, hey, you know what? If I wanted wings, I'd probably go into a cave. Right? Maybe that's where the bats are at? So we come in here, I'm hoping we can find some. We got candles, too. And you all, I'm, I'm, I'm all about the business about stealing, so... I definitely will take the candles, because if we die or we have to leave here really quickly... I need some spoils, and candles will definitely do. We could probably put them around my base, make it look kind of gothic and dark. Harking back to my high school days, you know? Maybe I might want to go to Hot Topic or something, assuming it still exists, who knows? So candles will definitely help me out with that. Hello, Batman. I have just killed your friend, your confidant. You are next, thank you. Okay. I have a box here, too. Broke it down, and... I should probably look at those before I break it down so I see what I'm getting. It's down in the bottom left corner. I I look too slow, man, you know? It's like slow, slow man looking reflexes, you know? It's one thing, like, you know, yeah, you got the slow gaming reflexes now, but now I have slow man looking reflexes, too. It takes me a while to, like, turn my head over there and be like, oh, what's going on down over there? All right, let's get the sword out. Ooh, what was that? Oh, we have another biome down here. Cave goblins. Something tells me the cave goblins... Probably not something I want to mess with. Unless I could kind of cheese their AI like I did the boys out above. But, you know, one step at a time. Right now, we came in here to get some equipment. Some leather for my armor, so... I think that if we get myself decked out with some armor... We could probably make a little pass at those cave goblins and see what's up. Good. Ooh, wait. Can I... Can I take this back home as well? Oh, yes, I can! <laughs> the red fire bots. That'll look absolutely ravaging. Okay. We got two bad wings from this guy, too. Good. See, I'm not sure why some of them are just dropping one. It's like, you know, you're bad. You got two wings. Drop two of them, dog. What are you doing? Tell me you're over here flying around with one wing. It's impossible. Can't fly with one wing. It's like trying to swim with only one arm. Can't do it. You can go in a circle. <laughs> so, leather. Most of the stuff requires two. 
So I, I'll make six and maybe this will cover the majority of my body with stuff. Okay. Now, I have a serious inventory problem. And I noticed that these crates... There we go. I am, at least for now, for the meantime, I'm going to have you hang out right over here. As my storage. I also, I know I had a barrel. What happened to that barrel that we had earlier? There it is. Put that, like, down over here. Okay. I know we don't have a proper floor yet. I'm, my bed is literally on swamp um, stuff, but that's okay. We'll, we'll put some wooden flooring down. And then if I... No, don't break that. Storage opens up, and we put stuff in there. Good. What do you think we don't need right now? Maybe copper ore? Seems like a bit too... Two hours later. Okay, so I set down my campfire over here to give us a little extra lighting. Got some candles over here near the working area and one next to my bed, because again, we're, we're very, very brutish teenagers right now. And you might be wondering what the hell is that over there? Not the actual little goblin village, but just literally this. This right there. Um, that's the leather. Uh, apparently the leather was not happy with the fact that I was going to place it here. And when I was hoping to get there, I literally stopped there and it was like, you know what? I don't feel like playing anymore, so I'm gonna hang out right there. And then when I took my inventory off, it was still there. So, um, it just doesn't want to go. So, <laughs> I hope that I can still use it. Um, because I need to make some equipment now, obviously, right? So, let's see here. Um, this is not where I make that. We need to go down here. Perfect. So, wooden helmet. I want to make the skeleton shield. We need a couple more bones for that, which should be simple enough to get, I imagine. So, instead of getting the wooden shield, we'll get that one instead. Um, wooden helmet. We don't need that because we already have this bone one, which looks a lot cooler anyway. So we'll make the wooden gloves, sure. And chest plate, sure. And we'd have the boots. So all we need now is just a bit more shield for, or at least more bones for the shield. There's got to be a wooden shield as well, though, right? Yeah, this one right there. It would cost me my last leather if I really wanted it to. I mean, I'm planning to get the bone one for sure, but at least for now, we'll we have the items so I know we'll make it, right? Good. So wooden gloves, put those right there on. Put those like so. And, um, the wooden shield right over there. Alright, we are completely decked out with the crappiest equipment possible. That's fine. You know, you gotta start somewhere. Oh, I never put this down, huh? <laughs> Alright. Welcome to my humble abode, Slime. This is here to dissuade you from entering. I went into a cave and I sold this. Why do I still have them in my inventory? Like, I picked up one and apparently when you pick up one, like, you get an infinite am Oh, no, you... No, I picked up two, right? Yeah, yeah, I had to pick up two, right, and that makes sense. I guess it confused me that it's still technically in my inventory for some reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's still there. Oh, you know what? Hold up. Here. Hey, um... I don't have you anymore, so I'm gonna put you into storage, so... Please. <laughs> Look, dog! Get out of there! You don't even belong in this world, foul beast! You're not the leather! He's doing the same thing as the leather. You know what? Look, you have to disappear if I load screens, right? It's bothering me. It doesn't belong there. It's fine. Fine. You want to come along so badly? Fine. Okay. Ignore that red fire pod. We're at least completely equipped now. At the very least, I wanted to go check out this biome. Those are the bears that I dropped earlier. I will take those now. The bats have apparently repopulated. Let's go check out those cave goblins over here, and I'm not sure how long we've gone, but it feels like we've gone quite a while because I've done some little farming off camera as well. So, I'm gonna start wrapping up here, I think pretty soon. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it so far. This has been uh, Tinkertown. I like it. Um, there's obviously a couple of, you know, it's early access, there's a couple of issues, kind of like, you know, this. Big problem. And, it's not really a big problem, but it's just very annoying to me. And also, the, um, I mean, when you don't have any more of the items, please just make it disappear from your inventory, because it's bothering me seeing it's there. This is, um, I'm not sure what I plan to accomplish here, considering there's like 70 cave goblins here. <laughs> I mean, if we can just lower one at a time, that'd be fine. Now, I I'd like to know how this shield works. Is it just there for show? Maybe like I... Maybe it just lowers damage. Who knows? But killing him does uh, acquire coal and green jelly for us. I mean, as long as he doesn't have any weapons, it's not actually too bad. So there's actually... Assuming he don't suddenly pop out with a crazy-ass axe of some kind. We should be okay. Green jelly and more coal. Oh, boys. We got... Ooh. Yo, they have, like, a, a fishing net of some kind over there. I mean, I think there's a little body of water next to where I plan to make my base. We could easily, easily put that down over there. And it'll acquire ourselves some food over time. Now, there is no... Technically speaking, like, there's no, like, hunger meter, like, hey, you gotta eat or else you'll die. 
But obviously the food does seem to work as your HP recover, so having an extra fish around, not a bad thing, I would say. Now you do continue going down over through here. Ooh, man, you guys have quite an intriguing little dungeon thing happening here. Huh. Now I do know there is a boss fight in the game, so... I wouldn't be surprised, like, I think there's only one boss fight is what I read. I wouldn't be surprised if it's in this dungeon, because this seems to be the one that's mostly fleshed out this far, on the early axis. Oh, it's not- Ah! Ah! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Okay. Um, water apparently is very deadly to us. So we are gremlins. I mean, technically, water doesn't kill gremlins, but, you know, it makes them spawn even more gremlins, which, um, leads to the fall of mankind over time. What are you talking about, Falcon? Gremlins 1 and 2, man, alright? It's the, the one movie franchise that apparently cannot get rebooted and remastered, because the original creator's like, no, I don't want you to remaster it. So, hey, you know what? Kudos to him, man. In an era where we live where everything's remastered and, like, you know, redone, like, you know, oh, well, this movie came out five years ago, oh, I think it's time for a remaster. Kudos to him. You know what I'm saying? How about, how about, here's a wild idea. How about we use a bit of creativity to make something new? Mmm, mmm, -hmm, imagine that. Something new instead of a remaster. <laughs> oh, no, it's a wild concept. It's a totally wild concept. We're getting plenty of bones here, so I, I imagine this will probably give us only two. I mean, this looks like it came from a freaking dinosaur. You're looking at me too? Wait the way. Oh, that's, that's what's up. Now we should easily be able to make our skull shield. And you guys should be a nice little source of coal is what I'm thinking, right? All right. Man, this turned out pretty good for us. All right, let's start heading back here and see about um, what we could build with this bone stuff to be collected. So let's see, what have we... Skeleton shield. Oh, we're missing leather now, how cute. Well, fortunately for us, we got plenty of um, bad wings right now in that little trip there. So one of these should do it to make ourselves a skeleton shield. You replace that with the wooden one because now I'm a total baller. I went, I'm like the, the most evil smurf imaginable. He went from a cute little smurf to this monster putting the remains of his victims on his body. Can I go sleep now? Oh, let me see if I can sleep. Oh, I never even saved a spawn point. Well, it's a good thing I didn't die, huh? Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. All the information down below. This has been Tinkertown. I'll catch you guys next time.